Hey everybody, Playtendo Guy here and I'm back with a brand new video. Hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and today, as you can see in the title, I'm bringing you a nice little haul that was kindly sent to me by Kate White Pictures, a collection of four films to show you and talk about on the channel. So there's a lot to talk about, so without further ado, let's get into it. So, hey everybody, hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and thank you for joining me for another video. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a collection of four films that were kindly sent to me by the team at Cape Light Pictures. So thanks ever so much to Cape Light for uh, sending over these titles. It really does mean a lot and I had a great time watching them all. So, yeah, I'm going to be talking to you about four different films. Uh, they kindly sent me two 4K still books a 4k and a blu-ray so that's more than enough waffling let's dive into things and i'll show you what they sent me so first up i'll start off with the blu-ray they sent me and this is a great film i have seen this before i really did enjoy it so it was great to revisit it again especially with such a great leading man it is uh the late great paul walker and jessica alba in into the blue yeah, Mr. Fast and Furious himself, the series, again, has never been the same without him. And tragic loss when uh, Paul Walker passed away probably about 10, 11 years ago. Can't believe it's been so long. But yeah, he did quite a lot of films other than Fast and Furious, and Into the Blue was one of them. He also did Joy Ride as well as a few other films. But I remember seeing Joy Ride quite a few years ago and enjoying it, so it was nice to revisit this one. This is a thrilling underwater adventure with Fast and Furious, Paul Walker, and Sin City star Jessica Alba. I can't remember what year this film came out in. I think it was definitely early 2000s. But yeah, this is about a group of four friends who uh, sail off to the Bahamas and they discover a wreckage of a sunken ship nearby. So there's also a crash plane with a different type of cargo on board, uh, landing each of the friends in hot water as greed turns their idyllic holiday into a horrible nightmare. It's a really cool little thriller with some great action sequences and some great tense moments. The film is just under two hours at 110 minutes and honestly yeah it didn't outstay its welcome one little bit and it's a great little film. There's quite a few uh, special features here. You've got audio commentary with the director John Stockwell, deleted scenes with optional commentary, sound screen tests making a featurette, diving deeper into the blue and the theatrical trailer, yeah. And the pitch quality of it looked great, the the sea looked incredible and um, yeah, so did the surrounding settings. Really nice looking film. Um, I'll show you the artwork on the disc, it is that. Um, that also come in with very slim cases now. Uh, similar to what you get from European releases and there's also alternative artwork without the age rating but Into the Blue is available now on Blu-ray and it's available to buy from all good physical media stockers such as Amazon and HMV so yeah if you haven't seen this one highly recommend it it's definitely one of Paul Walker's better films so yeah that is Into the Blue. Next up is a film that I've never seen before and always wanted to check out and it did come out on 4K last year but it has also been released now on a lovely standard edition and it's Robert De Niro, yes the great Robert De Niro in Ronan. Remember it did come out on Blu-ray quite a few years ago but it quickly went out of print so when it got a 4K release that was great to hear. This is a fantastic 4K picture quality. It does have um, Dolby Vision HDR10 and the colours really do pop here. Definitely looks fantastic with such great detail and a really good 4K showcase from uh, Cape Light. And definitely made me look forward to more of their future releases. So yeah, this is Caesar Hordes of uh, All-Star Cast. You've got Sean Bean in it, you've got Jean Reno, Stellan Skarsgård and obviously the main man himself Robert De Niro. Uh, the film basically sees the whole host of characters here, Sean Bean, Robert De Niro, Stellan Skarsgård and uh, Jean Reno all being hired to find this uh, mysterious suitcase and steal it. 
um, and they're all joined together. The band of misfits, they don't really get on. They don't want to miss out on the money and uh, everybody is willing to kill for it. It's such a great, intense thriller from the 90s. Of all the, like, the Robert De Niro films, this is one that I've never even heard of until like a, probably a couple of years ago. And it's a shame that not many people talk about this one because it's a great film, great setting, great actors, great cast. And it's surprising how stacked the cast is. But yeah, it's a really tense, really enjoyable thriller that is just two hours long and it completely flies by definitely another banger from robert de niro and if you haven't seen it i highly recommend checking it out ronan is superb um this one does come with two discs you get the 4k and you do get a blu-ray bonus disc here and there's also alternative artwork which is the same artwork here but without the age rating. But on here you get audio commentary by the director and the theatrical trailer. You also get in the cutting room floor, the work of an actress, composing the music, risky driving maneuvers. Oh, the, the, the driving chase scenes here are brilliant. Filming in the fast lane, through the lens, interviews in Venice and alternative endings. There is a great amount of content here and it's a fantastic 4K release. This is available now on 4K and it's available to buy from all good physical media stockers like Amazon HMV. So if you haven't seen this one, definitely check it out. Ronan's a banger and I really did enjoy it. So yeah, that's Ronan. And next up they sent me two 4K stillbooks. So the first one I've got here is an absolutely stunning stillbook and a fun little sci-fi film and it's called The Moon. Never ever heard of this one. It's a recent film that came out, a Korean film set seven years after Korea's first manned mission to the moon ends in disaster. Second human space flight is launched successfully until a strong solar wind causes the spacecraft man function. With astronauts left stranded in space and quickly running out of oxygen, the Naro Space Centre turns to its former managing director to avert yet another fatal uh, catastrophe. It's a really interesting, tense little sci-fi film. Um, as, soon, as soon as it's like a Korean film, like a Korean film, I'm pretty much there. It's from the director of a film called Along With The Gods. I haven't actually heard of that one, but wouldn't mind checking it out because the director's work here was great. It's a really tense film. I think the special effects look great. And the leading actors all do a really good job. Never ever heard of this film, so it was quite a surprise, a pleasant surprise to check it out. And I'm so glad I did. So this is the 4K stillbook of it. And the 4K picture on here is fantastic immaculate picture quality superb detail really does pop on a 4k uh, display with um, OLED it really does look spectacular um, this does come with both the blu-ray and the 4k do have HDR Dolby Vision Dolby Atmos yes Dolby Atmos here sounds brilliant whilst I've only got TV speakers the, the sound sounds really crisp and booming and I'm sure if you have a speaker set up at home wow you're in for a treat so yeah this one is just over two hours long and yeah it's a great little film never heard of it before as I said but well worth checking out so uh, Moon is available from all good physical media stockers now also available, I think, on standard Blu-ray and standard 4K. But let's have a look at the 4K stillbook. And this stillbook comes with a nice J slip, really nice. So it's good to see. Cause sometimes you used to get like little cardboard flaps that were always a pain to put back on. But this fits nice and neatly in here on your shelf, no issues. So let's have a look at this stillbook, and it's very glossy really nice the moon a lot of um, indentations here look great You've got a spaceman there with one of the space mach uh, traveling machines that they use then you have your spine there with the moon then you have our leading character there and that again looks really glossy and is a really nice part of the film so that's awesome and inside you do get two discs you get 4k and your blu-ray so let me just take these out 
And I'll show you the full artwork. And wow, that that is amazing. That that really does look lovely. So simple yet so effective. And you also do get this really nice art card here that is uh, signed from the, the main actor here. And it says here, thank you for your interest in the movie, Moon. So that's really, really nice. That's lovely. So that is Moon. And it is available, as I said, to buy from all good physical media stockers. And also is available on standard Blu-ray and 4K, if I'm not mistaken. So that is The Moon. And the final release they kindly sent me was the awesome looking The Last Cumite on 4K with a Blu-ray. Yes, this came out quite a few weeks ago, but I always remembered that this was a film that saw uh, legendary martial artist actress uh, Cynthia Rock Rock starring in, which is always great to see. She, if you don't know who Cynthia Rock Rock is, she's been starring in a lot of old Chinese action films from the 80s and 90s, and she did do quite a lot of great ones. I remember she was in The Inspectors Always Wear Skirts, as well as Yes, Madame. Uh, writing wrongs. She is a great actress and really, really good with um, martial arts. So, was very excited to check this one out, and it didn't disappoint. Uh, really cool little tale. Kind of reminded me a little bit of like the most recent Roadhouse film. Just good old-fashioned fun. I'll read you the synopsis on the back here. Karate champion Michael Rivers, Mathis Landwer pardon my pronunciation, is forced to fight an illegal and deadly fighting competition in order to save his kidnapped daughter. Director uh, Ross W. Clarkson from Undisputed 2 and 3 reunites some of the most iconic martial arts stars of the 80s, such as Cynthia Rothrock, who was in China O'Brien, which recently got a 4K release, if I'm not mistaken, Kurt McKinney from No Retreat, No Surrender, great film with uh, John Paul Van Damme, Billy Blanks from The King of the Click Kickboxers, Matthias Hughes from Kickboxer 2, Mohamed Kwaisi from Bloodsport. The last QMO also brings back mystical legends Stan Bush and Paul Herzog, who wrote the iconic songs and soundtrack for Bloodsports and Kickboxer. Pretty certain Stan Bush also did um, the Transformers song. Well, I might be thinking of somebody else, but yeah. It, doesn't surprise me the soundtrack is very 80s and really good I, I i like the soundtrack quite a bit and the film is a lot of fun with some great action sequences and it's just great to see like these great actors from that era come back again especially Cynthia rock rock it's always a, a pleasure and a delight to see her on the screen and um yeah this film is only 105 minutes and it doesn't outstay its welcome at all really action-packed a lot of fun and the 4k transfer is great checked it out and everything looks really crisp and detailed the colors do pop on a 4k oled screen and i was quite surprised by how good it does look in 4k and would love to see some more martial arts films on 4k so yeah you do get a load of special things so yeah, you do get a load of special features here. You get behind the scenes, Stan Bush, No Surrender music video, interviews with Kurt McKinney, Mohamed Kwaisi, Matthias Landwer, Matthias Hughes and Paul Herzog. Sean and Matthias comments on previous uh, trailer and teaser as well. So it's a nice little packed uh, release here. Um, that is the back of the cardboard slip cover. And yep, it's Dolby Vision HDR10 as well. And again, in this lovely uh, slipcover holder, really nice. I really do like that. So here is the still book. Very simple, very effective. The red really does shine here and the indentations around here is brilliant. There is the spine, again, the last QMIT. And then the back here with all the characters here. Really, really effective. Kind of reminds me a bit of like Techno Street Fighter. Loving it a lot. 
And inside we do get artwork on the disc, just saying the title of the film. And I will show you the alternative, well not the alternative artwork, but what the still book looks like without the discs in. So if you hold on a second, um, we have a really nice still from the film. So yeah, that is a last Q-Mighty on um, 4K Stillbook. And the last Q-Mighty is available to buy from all good physical media stockers from Amazon, from h and It's available on Blu-ray, DVD, and this wonderful, wonderful 4K Stillbook. It's well worth checking out if you're a... Uh, it's well worth checking out if, if you're a huge martial arts fan, as I actually do think this is probably one of the best recent martial arts films in quite a few years, so definitely check out The Last Q-Mite. So that will do it for today, so I'll go through everything that uh, Cape Light Pictures sent me. They sent me The Last Q-Mite on 4K Stillbook, The Moon on 4K Stillbook, The Brilliant Ronin on 4K, and the great Into the Blue star and the late great Paul Walker. So thanks ever so much to the team at Cape Point Pictures for sending these over. I really do appreciate it and it was great to check out these releases and talk to you about them on the channel. So if you want to check out any of these, I'll leave some links in the description down below to go and check them out. So yeah. If you've seen any of these films or picked them up, tell me all in the comment section down below. It would be great to hear from you. And as always, thanks ever so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy it. You stay safe, take care, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.